Oh, that jumped inside your truck. I'm a deep, 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Zaria Smith, and I typically make videos just like this one. So if you like that, um, you can subscribe to me down below, as always. Um, and today's candle is Raspberry Mimosa. Um, there's a cat rubbing up on my leg, so if you hear her bell, um, I'm very sorry. Um, we've kind of all seen those luxury hauls on YouTube where people show like, this is my what I got for Christmas, luxury edition. We've seen videos of people doing multi-million dollar mega mansion tours all over the internet. We see people document themselves getting expensive surgeries just for funsies. We see people even showing their luxury apartment tours that are $10,000 in New York City when they could literally just own, re own literal property for less than that. We even see these $5,000 glow up videos on YouTube and it got me thinking about how so many people across social media are kind of on a conquest, um, kind of trying to strive for a luxury, a luxurious lifestyle. I kind of wanted to talk about this general need or this general want to experience the life of luxury and excess. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna be honest, usually in these videos, I kind of find, like I kind of have like a little earworm, a video worm if you will in my head, that is kind of like bothering me for the entire week. And then I'm like, you know what, maybe I should make a video on this, and then I do. And the earworm or the idea worm that struck me <laughs> to make this video was actually a TikTok audio um, from five, I'm on Five Nights at Freddy's TikTok. If you don't know, I'm a nerd. Tire shoes, we're leaving. I don't have shoelaces though. You don't have shoelaces? Nah. Are those Velcro straps? Material girl. He says material girl for having Velcro shoes instead of shoelaces. It's stupid. But the point is, is that got me thinking about this idea of people wanting to live a luxurious life and being a material girl. Um, so I kind of just wanted to talk about that. And the first, oh, hello. <laughs> the first section that I wanted to talk about is kind of like, what does it mean to have a luxurious lifestyle and what that looks like? Um, I feel like on social media, firstly, I think about how people are constantly going on trips, not necessarily right now because of, you know, a deadly disease that's going on year number two, um, but we see people going on luxurious trips to Bora Bora, to Santorini, you know, all these places. And I find that that is kind of an image of luxury, just being able just being able to kind of sit back and relax, just get money and do nothing all day, but just look pretty and go shopping, you know? We see people having huge living spaces despite only being one person having like a five bedroom house or townhome. People purchasing a lot of designer goods and living this lifestyle where they can just do whatever they want, driving their fancy cars, their Porsche SUV, you know, and just generally other luxurious things. And I think it's interesting seeing people a lot of times kind of flexing what they call new money versus old money and it's kind of like the people with new money are a lot of influencers and they want to prove to you that they make a lot of money i think jeffree star even said that the reason why he bought his 14 million dollar mansion was because he wanted to prove that he could afford it and it's like why go through all that extra just to prove that you can afford something and i think that's like the big difference between like new money versus old money because people with old money don't have to prove to anybody there's no low self-esteem there's no insecurity about money because you don't need to prove that you have money because if your last name is rockefeller you know no no one's going to question if you're rich or not you know which i think also it's like a why does everybody have the pressure to feel as though they need to be rich in order to be seen as being worth something? And it's it's really kind of messed up when you think about it like that. This kind of leads me to my next topic, which is why do people feel the need to be rich? And honestly, not to sound like a communist, but I do think that if, you know, the wealth gap wasn't as big as it was when Marie Antoinette got publicly executed, maybe there wouldn't be so much discourse about how much money people are making. But 
that aside i think that many people like the idea of exclusivity they like feeling that you know i can have this one birkin bag and no one else can have it and the idea of having like a birkin or having you know expensive things it's very exclusive it's like oh well i get to have this thing and like not everybody gets to have it which is another like perk of being rich i suppose people will get the fanciest cars most expensive bags even expensive sunglasses even though sunglasses have like a 200 per percent like markup like it's crazy how much people make on luxury sunglasses just for it to have a little dior on the side and i will say also that extreme wealth in general is just pushed so heavily on social media it's almost like if you don't have a louis vuitton like bag or you don't have you know a gucci shirt or gucci flip-flops or gucci belts suddenly it's like you're less than like oh you can't afford it when it's like even the shoes that i just got my converse it's a hundred dollars for a pair of shoes which is ridiculous it should not be that much money for a pair of shoes to get you you know to protect your free feet from the elements you know and i remember specifically i want to say this is like 2016 or 2017 when kim kardashian released her game kim kardashian hollywood and i remember there was a specific like question and it was like would you rather have an expensive car that like looks really good or an expensive apartment and kind of the right answer was an expensive car because then you were going to all these meetups they see you in this nice car versus you living in an apartment that is so horrible that barely has working appliances just to give off this appearance of luxury and even in the he's all that movie addison ray lied about where she lived because she didn't want people to think that she was poor it's just the constant the fear of being poor because being poor is just so bad. And it's like, maybe if people didn't have to worry about not being able to afford their next meal, then maybe we wouldn't be dealing with all this luxury stuff. But who's to say, you know? I will say also very briefly that I feel like that the resurgence of female rappers has kind of contributed to this need of material wealth even more. Not even joking about the Material Girl song, but City Girls, like you said, big brick and bad hole, five, six figures. Talking about their boyfriends paying their rent, they have to pay to date them or whatever. We see people like sugar babies talk about how they need to have like bags, they need to have all these things and, you know, fly on private jets and all these things to live this life of luxury because the life of the normal is just seen as so bad for some reason. And the funny thing is, is that the richest people in the world, like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, like you see them wearing head to toe Gucci, do you see them wearing monogram Louis Vuitton stuff? No, because that's tacky. Just because you can afford something does not mean that it's you know fashionable all the time like i've seen some horrible de designer outfits that can be easily betterly made or better looking um from h m you know or forever 21 or even urban outfitters you know like you don't have to spend so much money to look fashionable because nine times out of ten you just look tacky and it's like a flex on people because you're like i want to show how rich i am and it's like People just have such low self-esteem and they want to show you that they have money, even though the majority of people, I don't care if you're rich. I mean, unless you want to give me some money, but I'm not going to value someone differently just because of how much money they have. That is so shallow and so horrible. Um, so I think it's really interesting how people feel a need to like show that they're wealthy because they want people to be perceived as like them being better. But in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter because if you're trying to, you know, if you're thinking about skipping out on your rent to get a Louis Vuitton bag versus like paying your rent, I think that's a little bit extreme. And speaking of not being able to afford luxury items, now um, there is something called buy now, pay later, which is an entirely new concept, but companies such as Affirm, Klarna, Afterpay kind of prey on these people's needs for luxury items. You can go to, I believe it's Dolce & Gabbana and you can purchase a $32,000 bag or $3,200 bag with Afterpay. And the funny thing about Afterpay is I actually used Afterpay. I also used Klarna one time because I kind of wanted to see how it works because I was a little bit skeptical, but I have a strong belief that I'm not going to buy something unless I can afford it. You know, um, that's how you get yourself to not be in thousands of dollars of credit card debt. And it was honestly just really annoying. Like I kind of just wanted the payments to be over because it was like, I think I got like an $80 phone case from Casetify. And it was like 20, it was like four payments of $20 or whatever. And it would be every two weeks. And it would get so annoying because I would literally get paid and then immediately $20 would be removed. And I'm like, that's really so annoying. Like I would have just much rather spent the $80 and not have to constant like $20 payment, you know? Um, 
but it's also helpful because some people genuinely can't afford something and they want this thing and it's like people like this generation specifically are so scared to get credit cards i've seen so many youtubers talk about how they don't have credit cards because they don't trust credit cards and it's like other youtubers such as tiffany ferg has talked about how they paid off their massive amount of credit card debt and it's it's honestly such a great feat to pay off your credit card debt you know um but it's like people are so scared of being in that amount of credit card debt and being able to manage their life so they're like i'm just not gonna get one but then it's like how am i gonna afford this louis vuitton luggage set and it's like oh you could just pay with afterpay but the thing about afterpay is that they can it can get sent to debt collectors and it can hit your credit much harder than it would have if you just put it on a credit card and slowly paid it off and did your payments or whatever young people are so scared of debt i'm scared of debt too even though i have a car loan and I'm, <laughs> i have a car loan i have student loans you know so it's like interesting but i think like the concept of having so much money like that you owe was kind of scary so i can understand the concept of up after pay but i think it's also very dangerous and predatory to people that these companies usually use to profit off of people that already don't make enough money as it is to try and get them to spend more money that they don't have when it's like they could instead pay groceries or to get something else that's more productive for their lives but it's like this want and this need to be in luxury that people will put themselves in debt people will do these things just to get the bag or just to get a pair of shoes and it's honestly just so disheartening to see like it's one thing to purchase furniture because i feel like furniture is like all financing getting a mattress can be financed but like that's something that's like normal but when it comes to like you want a pair of shoes that are balenciaga for example and you're like oh they're five thousand dollars i'll just use afterpay you get charged every two weeks so it's like if you don't have the money to pay for that then don't get it because that's going to be more harmful to you it's better to just save up and get whatever you want versus trying to go through the afterpay um or any of those systems like method you know leading into things not even being worth it um luxury sometimes isn't even luxury and you might be like wow why would you say that um for starters a lot of luxury brands use um child labor sweatshops outsourcing through china um and even like when they have like the made in france or made in italy they really will just take chinese immigrants put them in italy made in italy you know i'm not saying which brands because i obviously don't want to get sued but allegedly a lot of brands do this and the thing also about luxury brands is that they in order for you to be like oh well it costs more so it's better for the environment it's not in fact burberry even admitted to burning millions of dollars worth of items because they wanted to keep up their exclusivity instead of recycling it into new clothes into donating it or because like some stores um like for instance i'll give you an example let's say for instance you've always wanted a michael kors bag you save up i don't know $300 of disposable income that you saved to pay to buy this Michael Kors bag. You get it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or some outlet store. And the thing about that is that things like Michael Kors or even Coach, like I have a Coach bag, I have a Steve Madden bag, I got them at an outlet, <laughs> I did not spend too much money on that. And the thing is, is that like this idea of being luxurious if you wanted to be perceived as being rich, you wouldn't have a Michael Kors bag, you wouldn't have a coach bag or a Steve Madden bag because that is more accessible. Therefore, you're in a constant loop. And I will also say that I used to watch a lot of lifestyle um, YouTubers like Alicia Marie, um, other people, I can't think of any names right now, <laughs> um, but talk about there there's like this trend that was on youtube a while ago where it was like oh my worst purchases i made in like my 20s or my worst purchases i've made on youtube and a lot of them say it's luxury bags or luxury sunglasses and it's because they say that they don't even use it or it was so expensive that they feel guilty for using the bag that they literally purchased and will instead use a bag that's less expensive because they feel like they can get that bag dirty they can use that bag and it's like if the point of getting a luxury bag is to literally use it aside from people who store birkins like jeffree star or jacqueline hill or trisha paytas then there's no point in getting the bag. There's no point in getting the sunglasses if you feel like it's so expensive you can't even use it. You know, like you feel guilty for using something that you literally purchased. I have prospects to move um, to a city, preferably Atlanta or New York, and I was apartment hunting in Atlanta. And I wanted a luxury apartment because I was like, oh, well, if I get an apartment, I want it to be fancy, I want it to be bougie. But it's like, those luxury apartments, 
it may be luxury on the inside has great amenities you know all this stuff but it's like it will be like a gentrified area for instance this apartment that i saw i'm not going to tell you which one it was it was a cute apartment but i would never live there and it was in downtown atlanta and i was like i would love to live in downtown it would be a little city girl but then i realized that two literally half a mile from the front door or parking garage of this complex was a homeless shelter so imagine spending two thousand dollars on a luxury apartment and there are people not even you can look out your window and see homeless people shivering in the cold in tents and it's like how can that's not luxury it's horrible people are homeless as it is but it's like I would never want to live in an apartment and spend that much money when I know I could be getting a less expensive apartment in a better area and donate that money to a homeless shelter, you know? Um, and some luxury apartments are just in gentrified areas where it's like, oh, you get this nice fancy apartment, but you shoved out minorities or other families that needed that space to live and now they're homeless, you know? So everything is luxury, but it comes at a cost. And it's like, there's this, this idea that if something is more expensive, that means it's better, but it really isn't because the majority of fashion that we have right now is used is made unsustainably, is made with using child labor. Like it's like the difference between Urban Outfitters and Shein is the price. Like to be honest, any store in the mall is fast fashion. It's like, even if you spend more on something, it doesn't mean that it's exponentially better aside from I'd say like Levi jeans, those are pretty good jeans. Um, but for the most part, it's easier to spend less money on something because you're gonna get the same amount of quality nine times out of 10, you know? So it's like these luxury bags, a Zara bag could be the same quality as a Gucci bag just as easily. It's just a matter of what you were going to pay for. And they know that you're gonna pay for it, so they charge you so much for it. And I guess I'm gonna get to the conclusion because I've been talking for way too long and cats aside, dogs aside, and every other distraction that I've had, we just need to be done. I've also just realized I'm allergic to raspberry and I have a raspberry candle burning. We're gonna move on. So for conclusion, um, I just feel like that as a society, whatever society means these days, I feel like that we just need to kind of understand that we don't need luxury items. We don't need to live in luxury. We need to more so force um, people to pay their taxes. Like instead of buying a Birkin bag, wouldn't you rather prefer your tuition paid for? Or wouldn't you rather, you know, not have to live in a horrible living situation? I feel like that's probably, you know, better for the environment and better for society than a random Burberry um, bag. I don't know, Burberry makes clothes, something like that. <laughs> but I think that it's so much, the conversation of searching for luxury and the conversation of needing to be in luxury is so much deeper than that. Growing up as a black person, my mom was always like, we can't, you can't wear this, you have to wear this because you want to be appearing of having more money than what you do. And having a coach bag or having a whatever bag may make people think that, may make people think that you are worth more, make people think that you have more money even if you don't. I remember going to a private school and there were moms talking about the fake bags that they purchased and how authentic and real they are. And companies like DH Gate are so popular for selling fake luxury items that look like luxury because people want the look of luxury but can't afford luxury items. And it's like, maybe we just shouldn't place so much value in luxury items because they're not good for the environment. They're generally similar quality to what you could get anywhere else for less expensive. And it's just generally, tacky sometimes like seeing a person in head to toe Louis Vuitton clothes is one of those horrific sights I've seen <laughs> horrible fashion and I know fashion sense is relative and whatever but yeah so um I guess that's literally it because I'm just gonna rant for even more if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really really helps the little channels like mine um make sure to also subscribe to me if you would like to no pressure but i am close to 5k so it would be nice to hit 5k um as a little new year's gift for me um what else i guess that's it let me know down below your opinions on luxury items are you someone who's a luxury aficionado do you feel like you need luxury do you feel like you want luxury let me know um down below and with that said make sure you just stay happy stay healthy and stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys